हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज उमाशंकर थैंक यू फॉर ऑल यूवर सपोर्ट दैट यू आर गिविंग टू दिस चैनल लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक टुडे इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड इन वॉइस इन वर्कल फ्यूजन पेबल्स मॉड्यूल सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट इन थ्रू रेस्ट ए पी वाज द अप्रोच If you know how the REST API works directly for them, they can consider as a POST request. You can uh, trigger a POST method. Now we are going to create a invoice in Oracle Financial Cloud using REST API. So we will see how the things will go. Now we can search in the Google. Is there any REST API available? Okay, let me search with this. open the first link now we are going to see cre create invoice uh, option so here once you click on here you can see the all the details about the rest api right by using rest api uh, we can create update or delete a invoice in oracle fusion erp right so once you click on the create invoice link you can see the rest api okay this is the rest api which we are going to use for create a invoice in oracle fusion right if you want to test this rest api you need a valid request payload okay if you come down oracle has provided one payload we can use that for our reference okay if you slowly come here if you slowly come down okay here uh, you something called uh, request okay you can see the request we can use that okay if you slowly come down okay see this is the request payload example of request payload but we cannot use as it is in the pay, in the pay, in the payload so whatever the information we need for testing we can get those details okay so i have prepared a sample uh, sample uh, payload uh, we can use for the testing okay let me let me open this so this is the valid payload okay we can use in the testing in this payload if you see this right invoice number invoice currency invoice amount invoice date business unit so this is the sample business unit but you cannot use this uh, business unit unit for your testing right so whatever the actual business unit configured in your instance you can use that otherwise you are going to end up with the errors you can give the valid supplier okay so i have already uh, payload with me we can use that payload for the testing so this is the payload based on the pay, based on the oracle uh, provided uh, payload i have uh, prepared some valid uh, Uh, request so it contain invoice number invoice currency invoice amount invoice date business unit this is the valid one already configured and also valid biz uh, of supplier name supplier site description and uh, this invoice contain the three lines okay line number 1 2 3 okay so our invoice will contain the valid distribution combination okay if you provide the invalid distribution uh, combination you will end up with the errors okay so in order to test this uh, uh, payload we need a tool okay to test this uh, request so we need a tool called uh, you can use either soap ui either postman so steps to create a invoice first one we need uh, rest api okay this is the rest api we, we have seen from the oracle portal and uh, so we can use this rest api with the our instance url okay this is the sample uh, instance url and plus our rest api okay whenever you are trying to use the rest api it's a combination of your instance what are the instance you are trying to create a invoice and this rest api so rest api is common for the all the uh, all the processes okay only this instance is vary okay so after that we need a Uh, postman and soap ai these are the freewares uh, just you can uh, it's a open source just you can download and you can test it okay so so what i can do i will connect to the uh, soap uh, soap uh, um, tool and we can trigger the our request so this is the look and feel of uh, soap ui tool here either you can initiate the rest request or soap request okay in our example we are going to test the rest api to create a invoice okay 
so let me copy the uh, URI URI nothing but your instance URL plus your REST API okay copy this and we can paste here okay click on OK so now we are going to use the post method we are going to perform the operation in the Oracle Fusion all right so here we can provide the authorization details to access the Fusion instance okay click on the authorization here you can select add new authorization the type you are going to select is basic click on ok now i'm going to enter the username and password of the fusion instance okay so and we can give the valid payload okay let me go to the payload okay this is the invoice number and currency and invoice amount okay and you can give the valid business unit okay and you can give the valid supplier name and this invoice contains the multiple lines okay we have three lines each line will contain the uh, distribution combination okay so copy this okay paste here okay so let me trigger the uh, api click on okay see the invoice number already exists so what i can do let me change the invoice number double zero two okay click on okay again the process is running See, now we can see the invoice, invoice ID generated successfully. All right. So what we can do, this is the invoice number. We can check in the Oracle Fusion whether the invoice is generated or not. Okay. Let's validate this invoice. So this is the Fusion instance access. Uh, I just connect to the uh, Payables Manager responsibility from here. So click on the task here, something like uh, Manage Invoices. Okay. So let me check the invoice number. This is the, our invoice number which was created through the REST API. Okay, search it. Okay, see standard invoice 002, it is created. Right? It is, a, it is not validated. You can manually validate the invoice. Okay, so if you want to add some more uh, attributes, you can enable in the your payload. Okay, as per your requirement. Okay, so we can use the same payload. Okay, uh, for the integration. All right. So whatever the response we got from here, so we can use these response and request for our integration. Right. So through the integration, we can uh, we can use the same payload for the development. Okay. We can see in the next session.